Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Two for Joy Studio. Today is water time. Global water crisis is a pressuring issue that affects millions of people worldwide. It is caused by a combination of factors including population growth, climate change, and pollution. The unsustainable water management practices are also adding to the story. As the population continues to grow and consume more water, this precious resource becomes increasingly scarce. As a result, many communities are facing water shortages and water scarcity. This threatens the health, livelihood, and economic development. The global water crisis requires immediate action through sustainable water management practices, conservation efforts, and infrastructure development to ensure the people have access to safe and reliable water resources now and in the future. Three in 10 people lack access to safe drinking water globally. Six in 10 people lack access to safe sanitation. And one in four people will be living in water-stressed countries by 2050. 40% of the global population, ladies and gentlemen, is under water stress. And this stress is increasing day by day. So let's find out why, despite 70% of the planet which is covered with water, still struggles with the water problem. Approximately 97% of the Earth's water is in the ocean and is saline, not suitable for drinking, while only 3% is fresh water. Out of that 3%, about 69% of fresh water is locked in the ice sheets and glaciers. 30% is groundwater and less than 1% of the world's fresh water is easily available on the surface of lakes, rivers and swamps. Therefore, in terms of portable water readily available for drinking, less than 1% of the Earth's total water supply is easily accessible. This is why water scarcity is a growing concern and conservation efforts are critical in ensuring the access to clean water for people and the environment. Looking at the snapshot of the top 10 global renewable water resources, our own country, India, stands at 8th position with 1900 uh, renewable water resources compared to Brazil with 8600 renewable water resources. When we look at the impact of water stress in the Indian population, we find that 42.9% Indians are under water stress, which is increasing every day. India ranks 120th among the 122 countries in the Water Quality Index. 70% of the country's surface and groundwater is contaminated and over 2 lakh people die each year due to inadequate access to safe water. So here we have uh, the Indian population and the water renewable resources uh, available in the country. It is estimated the population of India is approximately 1.4 billion people, while the total renewable water resources are around uh, 1900 billion cubic meters per year. So it's important to note that India faces water scarcity issue, particularly in the drier regions of the country. This is due to the variety of factors, including population growth, climate change, inefficient water management practices, and overuse of groundwater. As a result, the actual availability of renewable water resources can vary significantly from region to region within the country. Now, what is really grappling is 
that according to the Water Resources Institute, water levels will reduce beyond the level required for healthy living by 2050. So normally they say that 1700 cubic meters per capita per year is the quantity that is required for a healthy living. And we might touch somewhere around 1140 or 1200 uh, cubic meters per capita per year. What's more startling is that according to the Niti Yog report, India's water demand versus supply gap will double as per the forecast. That means there'll be a lot of demand and the supply would be compromised. 6% of the GDP will be lost by 2050 due to water crisis. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the major metro cities are already facing water deficit. Next, we have a map showing water resource management in our country. And the high performance states are shown in the green color. The medium performing states in the yellow and the low performing states are in the red. So you can see there's a very divergent view of how the water is being managed at the moment. And uh, it's a grave uh, situation right now. So definitely we need to take further steps in our country to conserve this scarce resource.